Believe it or not, April is now over and we are well on our way into enjoying a beautiful and hopefully sunny May. Welcome to the April 2020 sales recap for Spruce Grove, Stony Plain and Parkland County areas. Hello everybody, Travis Harlick here with Remax Preferred Choice. I hope you and your family are staying safe and staying healthy and practicing a lot of social distancing. Well, so far the last month or so, we've learned that the world still turns around and that the sun comes up every single day. There is still plenty of real estate being bought and being sold and being listed for sale. We just now have new protocols that keep everybody safe as much as we can. Your safety is top of my mind when I'm helping you with your real estate goals and needs. Please head to my website. I've developed a COVID-19 resource center. There's everything in here from financial relief information to live reports of COVID-19 cases. And there's also information about what to do while you're staying home and staying safe. I hope you check it out and I hope you enjoy it. You can find that at www.travisharlock.com. All right, so let's dive in. I'm here to tell you all about the information and what happened in the local real estate market in April 2020. This information is based from the Realtors Association of Edmonton and is based off of month and numbers. So let's dive right in here. I got my trusty clipboard as always. And uh, basically in the Spruce Grove sector and in the single family department, uh, month end, there were about 228 active listings out there with, with a median list price of $399,900. There were 23 sales that have happened in Spruce Grove in the month of April. That's almost one a day with median sale price of $332,000. The high sale price in Spruce Grove was $556,500 while the low sale price for a single family home was $279,500. In the condo sector in Spruce Grove, they are currently 42 active lists with a median asking price of $239,950 and there were three sales in the condo sector that happened in the month of April, all makes, models, shapes and styles of condos and that had a median sale price of $215,000. High sale price was $249,000 while the low condo sale price in the month of April was $85,000. In the Stony Plain market and the single family sector, there's currently 110 active listings with a median price of about 399,000. While there was 14 single family sales in Stony Plain with a median sale price of about 356,000. High sale price, $730,000 with a low sale price of 220,000. In Stony Plain's condo sector, there's currently 28 active listings with two sales that happened. Now that median list price, asking price in Stony Plain was about 161,000, while the median sale price was about 173,000. The high sale price was 200,000, while the low sale price for condos in Stony Plain was 147,000. Parkland County, let's check out what happened in the country residential sector. Uh, there's currently 266 active listings with a median asking price of about 590,000. There were 13 sales that happened in the month of April. The median sale price in April was 436,000, while the highest sale that happened in Parkland County under country residential was $2 million, and the lowest sale price was about $138,000. Now, as far as the vacant land goes in Parkland County, the amount of active listings out there is about 153, with that median asking price of about 225. There were two sales in the vacant land sector in April with a median sale price of 152,000 while the high sale price was 179,000 and the low sale price was 125,000. If you're curious about the Edmonton market, please do send me a private message. I'd be more than happy to provide any information for you. So if you have any questions about whether or not now is the right time for you and your family to proceed with your real estate goals, please feel free to give me a call. Everyone's in a different boat. We're all in the same storm together, but we're all in a different boat. So if you have any questions, I'd love to help you out. Thanks for watching.